So here's another Singapore math mental math strategy, and this one's called Add the Tens. Uh, so let's take a look at 15 plus 30. Uh, and the way I was taught to do this was, you know, stack them on top of each other and add them. 30 plus 15, so that's, um, you know, 0 1s plus 5 1s is 5 1s, and 3 one, 10s plus 1 10 is 4 10s, so my answer is 45. Um, again, stacking and doing this mentally can be really tough for many kids, uh, especially when the numbers get bigger. So here is a kind of another mathematically sound way to think about it, and that is let's split the 15 up into 10 and 5. Adding 5s, I can do that. Adding 10s, I sure can do that. Uh, so I'm going to add the 10s first, and then I'm going to add in my 1s because I can't forget about them. Addition means put them all together. Uh, I'm going to put them together in two parts instead of putting them all together all at once. So here's my 30, and here's my 15. That's 1, 10, and 5 1s. So here I split my 15 into 10 and 5, and I'm going to add the 10s first. I put these together, and that makes 40, and then I've got my 5 here. I put those, uh, which is 45. And the way I would write that out, again, this is the part as parents where we look and go, what's going on here? Where we see blank plus blank equals blank, blank plus blank equals blank. Well, really, this is just a way that we originally have the kids write it to make sure that they see where these numbers are coming from and, uh, and to know that you know, there are many good ways to fill in the blanks to, to be true. But this is really what's happening and a lot of times we explain it as what's actually happening, a record of what's happening in our brains. This is the way we just keep a record of what's happening in our brains. So in our brains we're saying uh, 30 and 10 is 40, 40 and 5 is 45. So our answer for 15 uh, plus 30 is 45. So let's take a look at how Singapore Math would uh, have a kid solve a problem like this, 20 plus 12. Uh, equals what? And specifically, can you do you know what this equals? And can you think of what to put in this these blanks? Something plus something equals something. Something plus something equals something. And our final answer is going to go here. Well, in Singapore math, using the add the 10 strategy, here's how we do it. We would say, here's my 20. Here's my 12, which is 10 and 2. My 10s are easy, so I'm going to try and isolate them and manipulate you know manipulate my numbers to get as many 10s as possible. Add means put together. I'm going to put it together in two parts. And first, I'm going to add the tens. So first, I'm going to take my 20. And in my head, I'm going to take my 20 and add my 10. So when we, when we talked about these numbers, it's simply a record of what's actually happening or what's happening in our head. So 20 plus 10 equals 30. So here's my 30 over here. But then I can't forget about these guys. I wasn't supposed to add 10. I was supposed to add 12. So I already added my 10. How many more do I need to add? I need to toss those last two in. Toss them into what? Toss them into this 30. So now I have my 30 plus 2, which equals 32. 30 plus 2 equals 32. So 20 plus 12 is 32.